Good evening. We're going to call the Laporte County Council regular meeting of July 22nd, 2019 to order. If everybody would please stand for the pledge. Mr. Rosenbaum. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Auditor. Mr. Garner. Here. Mr. Molenauer. Present. Mr. Novak. Yes. Mr. No Mr. Rosenbaum. Present. Mr. Santana. Present. Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Yagelski. Present. A quorum is present. Need a um, motion for the July 22nd agenda. Motion to approve it. Motion by Mr. Santana. Second. Second by Mr. Rosenbaum. Is there any other questions regarding the agenda? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Next item on the agenda is approval of the June 24th, 2019 minutes. What's your pleasure? Motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Molnar. Second. Second by Mr. Ugalski. Is there any questions regarding the minutes? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Thank you. Public comment. Public comment is now open. Anybody from the public would like to speak? Anybody from the public would like to speak? Anybody from the public? Coming public, public comment is closed. Next item, department head reports. Is there any department heads that would like to speak? Any department heads? Hearing none, liaison reports. Mr. Rosenbaum. I'll, I'll talk a little later and we have comments. Um, I did do some touring, but I have nothing else to report. I just have um, EMA here. I have EMS. Uh, talked with uh, Tony Hendricks. Again, not a lot going on with drainage. We did see Larry Lewandowski. There's always stuff going on in maintenance, but nothing to report there either. Um, and then again, I keep forgetting sometimes or what have you, but um, I am a liaison to Peladine, Peladin, and in fact, Randy and I are going to go meet with um, with the director over there, Bill Trowbridge, um, next week. It looks like. So, other than that, that's all I got. Thank you. Terry. Uh, we had a first personnel committee meeting uh, just to reclassify two people. One of them had to do with uh, possibly moving from commissioner's budget to maintenance. Uh, met with the recorder. She went over some computer issues that she's going to be funding through her own, uh, I guess you call it perpetual fund. And then I also saw Mike Quinn, uh, his weights and measures. He's always running short on money, but he's managing to survive. So he just asked the council be courteous, which we were at budget hearing. So, <laughs> and then uh, talked with the sheriff on his cars last week and also proposed budget. And the MS4 director just stated he's had a busy year because of the wet season. So. Everything else is pretty much running all right for him. That's it. Great. Mr. Moldau. On uh, June 26th, I attended the Laporte County Redevelopment Commission meeting. <laughs> On uh, June 28th and 29th, I and uh, Councilman Rosenbaum, which he probably will say something later on, also attended the uh, Indiana City and County Association training conference in Shelbyville, Indiana. And uh, particularly, my reason was his uh, Friday session on Criminal Law 26, which uh, was, was very well uh, attended and uh, got some good information out of that. On July 10th, um, I attended the Soil and Water Conservation District Annual Legislative Breakfast. Uh, speaker was Scott Peloth, who's the director of the Kankakee and Yellow River Basin now, and uh, that was a very, uh, very interesting seminar. Uh, a lot of things uh, 
that uh, he brought uh, the history and the current needs of the river, of uh, the two rivers, really, and it was uh, very, very interesting and uh, educational. Uh, on July 16th, I attended the ribbon cutting uh, along with uh, several other councilmen and commissioners on uh, out at the new cold storage facility uh, for Dollar General, and which is uh, North Point Development uh, Company, who bought the old Eagle Foods and. Uh, that was, uh, I think it's called Midwest Trade Center now, yep. which uh, we're very happy to have them in LaPorte County. Uh, on, July 20, on July 16th, I attended the LaPorte County Board um, of Health meeting. Uh, Tony advised uh, that um, we'll be getting an invitation for an open house real soon. Uh, there's going to be, I think, the end of June, but or I'm sorry, July, but um, they had to postpone it a little bit. They're not quite complete with that new lab, so that's what the open house will be. And he's talking probably September. Uh, he'll be sending out an email, though, uh, whenever that comes about. Um, July 17th, I attended the Solid Waste District Board meeting. Uh, uh, and I think probably most of you probably seen the new facility uh, that's now finished uh, on Ziegler Road, uh, the new building and that, and they'll be having, uh, which is very, very nice. And uh, I know they've got uh, landscaping that they've done and they're waiting for the seed now to come up, which, uh, and I think they've got a little bit more work to do on it, but it looks really good. And they'll be having an open house too. Uh, I did, he didn't have a date on that yet. And, uh, and also on July 17th, I attended our County Employee Health Insurance Committee uh, uh, meeting and uh, let's see, with of course um, HR Director Barb Mossman and Commissioner Cora and general, two representatives from General Insurance. Uh, the projection for this year, or the rest of this year, is looking very good and um, that's it. With uh, with the amount of the expenses, I guess you could say, from insurance, things are looking um, very satisfactory so far. Thank you. And that's all I have. Not, not at this time. Uh, I too attended the RDC meeting um, last month, um, and as Mr. Molnar stated, uh, Councilman Santana. Um, and myself, um, along with Mike and some other commissioners, attended the ribbon cutting out at the what I refer to as the old Eagle Warehouse, but it's Midwest Trade Center. Um, and what a fantastic job! And um, Dollar General is hiring. I think they've got ads in the papers now. They're hiring eight <coughs> full-time employees out there with benefits. Um, it's a state-of-the-art facility, so uh, it's great to see um, good things happening in Laporte County. Um, with that, I'd also like to um, just give a shout out to uh, our recorder, Lois Zinsky, who's under the weather. So hopefully she's better, feeling better soon. Did you talk? Yeah, I did. Okay. We went right. that way. All right. You're good. Okay. All right. That concludes that. New business. Consider retroactive approval of commission and council president declaration of emergency repairs, authorization of $50,000 in emergency funds for repair restoration of county computer system. So moved, Mr. President. Second. By Mr. Yagowski, seconded by Mr. Rosenbaum. Is there any questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Next item on the agenda is reconsider approval of commissioner's request for $800,000 into the county liability fund from the general fund 1000 instead of previous meeting approval out of the riverboat fund. Uh, this was how it was advertised. So what's yeah. your pleasure? Motion to approve. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Santana, seconded by Mr. Molnow. Question. On the question. Mm -hmm. What's the reason why the consideration? We're going to have a different account. Uh, because our riverboat fund is running a little bit lower than we thought, and so we'd rather take it from um, the general fund where we have a little extra. Is there any other questions? Comment? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. No old business, no correspondence, no ordinances and resolutions, appropriations and transfer request. The Port County Planner requested permission to spend from the motor vehicle fund uh, 
uh, restrict on the name of John Henry? Yeah. For John Henry Road realignment and safety project in the amount of $50,000. Motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Santana. So this, is, I understand, is like some startup money, some feet seed money. And is this part of what we're going to get back, or is that what on the crossing on the next one? Do you guys know? The next one's a community crossing spending. All right. I thought Mitch was going to be here. We we're both looking at each other like, where's Mitch? So um, I think you're correct, but. I yeah. I saw him at the commissioner's meeting. That's kind of what I got out of that. Oh, um, second. Yeah. You just I second. Okay. Second by Mr. Rosenbaum. I know we he spoke with all I think sent us emails out on it. He did yeah, yeah, that was in our packet all yeah. of his explanation. Right. So Are there any other comments regarding hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Next item is requesting permission to spend from the MVH restricted funds for match on community crossing grants. This is the million dollars uh, for paving. Yeah. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion by Santana, seconded by Mr. Rosenbaum. Is there any other questions? That was on the project, I think, on 1000 North, correct? I believe that's where they specified so. it. Yeah. 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 This is part of the community matching grant with the community yes. crossing. All right. It's on the and all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Next item on the agenda is Laporte County EMA request an additional appropriation from riverboat or wind tax for replacement of a vehicle not to exceed thirty thousand dollars. Motion to approve. We have a motion by Mr. Santana. Second. Seconded by Mr. Moldenauer. This is question. Mr. Yugowski. Okay. Uh, so we had talked before about uh, uh, not trading the vehicle, but now that uh, the sheriff has uh, gone through the list, we're able to. We have a better choice of a vehicle that will be coming from the sheriff. We'll bring bring it up at that point. We talked about taking this and keeping this Correct. car. We yeah. have now a better vehicle that we're that we're. That well, then we could have two. And okay. if. Uh, well, I watched, the, I watched the commissioner's meeting on uh, uh, Wednesday, in fact, and they gave him direction actually to to not trade it. Okay, that's fine. I just I, I know I hear you. But this, 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 you're allowed to ask questions. So that's, that's oh yeah. Man. All right. Is there any other questions? This came up last month. We're just. We had to re-advertise re it. Re it just because of the availability. I'll make note of this too. At first, when he did this, uh, it came. It was going to be a 2019 truck, but then he went back and said, "Hey, I'm going to be able to get it." The dealership uh, rebid and came up with a 2020 with all of the equipment, and uh, it's 107 dollars less than what the 19 was going to be. So I think it's a pretty good deal. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Nay. 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 Call the roll. Mr. Garner? Nay. Mr. Mullenauer? Aye. Mr. Novak? Aye. Mr. Rosenbaum? Nay. Mr. Santana? Aye. And Mr. Yagelski? Nay. It's three to three. Three to three ties. Mm -hmm. Does not pass. Next item on the agenda is Laporte County Sheriff. Before we go there, can I ask a question? Uh, three, three. Again, I know, I know it fails because of three three. Um, without our other member here, for one thing, uh, can he bring us back uh, next month? According to our rules, no. It's one year. I believe it's one year. One I have year. to. I have to look it up because. But last month, mm -hmm. I know where you're going. Give him per permission yeah. to but go it was out. A, it was a 2020 vehicle, not a 2019. So what he asked for isn't available. So he had to. 
he went so he went through the process the commissioner said just come to him to them to get approval so then he came back here to get approval because it's not what he had originally asked but it was the same it was the same dollar amount. it's the same dollar amount it's no, actually a little bit less it's actually less, less. so we still right. had to read right still had to redo it and it wasn't i don't know you, I think you said uh, it's a 2020. You, it wasn't 2019. Yeah, it wasn't 19. It's a 2020. They want to give us for $107 less. We're getting a newer vehicle for $107 less. But unless somebody on the council would like to reconsider, that's where it stands. So. I wanted to trade in. Commissioners want to keep that around. Then we can. He can drive it if we can keep it around. Okay. Next item on the agenda is LaPorte County Sheriff requesting additional appropriation from CCD for 15 vehicles and equipment not to exceed $561,700. Good afternoon. You've received our packet of information. Yeah. You're aware of what we're looking for, specifically 12 vehicles for patrol. That would be the 2020 Ford Explorer, police pursuit vehicles, one Dodge Charger, uh, one, uh, I'm sorry, two Dodge Ram 1500 special service trucks. And I'll, I'll just make a comment before, or no, um, motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Motion by Mr. Santana, second by Mr. Rosenbaum on the question. Is there any? I'd like to make a statement on, on this, uh, comment on this. What we received in a packet listed um, reasons for turning in vehicles which show the maintenance records of those vehicles and why they should be uh, turned in. And I appreciated having the additional information um, to be able to uh, go along with this request. Thank you. Um, Mike, I know you and I spoke uh, pertaining to that um, the the vehicle that was listed on top, that right. Tahoe that, that was going to be a ten thousand um, dollar. You know, I want to ask this, I guess, too, because you know we're always talking about pool vehicles and keeping them in that. Is that under our authority or the commission's authority? It's their their choice if they want to keep them or sell they, them or. Right. They own all the vehicles. Okay. Go ahead. All we can do is recommend water. <laughs> to own a vehicle is fine. To, I'm sorry, thank you. To own a vehicle is fine. That's not what happened last year. If we want to continue this conversation, I have no problem with it. Last year, the commission traded vehicles in. There's a value of those vehicles that we gave them. They're not allowed to take that value and change the value around. That was what the county council gave them. If the value was the same price, absolutely you're correct. That, that's like, not what he asked. No, but I'm asking the question of what the scope oh. is. Was it the commissioner? Or the county? Last year's was they had no authority to take those cars for trading. They were the ones that we had for pool cars. I'm answering that part of the question. Oh, they yeah. had no authority of that whatsoever. I agree with you. That's why we cut their budget, and that's why they have less budget money this year because of that reason. Okay. Did that answer your question? No. So who has? <laughs> they, they they own the vehicle itself. Yeah. Like they own property. They own everything that we right. have is tangible. But they're not allowed to take trade the value wise that we had there that was supposed to be used to go from two to one because there's a value behind the two to one. They traded two vehicles in for one vehicle and, then, and they're not allowed to do that. But they 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 changed the deal after the deal. Yes. Right. Agreed. So right. <clears throat> uh, they have the authority to. Do we have the authority then to say, because I know that um, uh, Molinar had uh, conversations um, like I did, and it looked like, um, well, we are saving one vehicle, and that's what uh, that's what he was driving, and that's going to go, I think, to Commissioner um, uh, Mateus. And but the the one that I'm speaking of, uh, we've gotten some some feedback from the garage and all of that, and it would be a good one to keep for the pool, and just go ahead and increase this by ten thousand dollars because that's what the trade in was going to be, and by all indications it said that it's a pretty darn good vehicle if we've got to keep anything. The rest of that list they said no. As a general purpose vehicle, that's correct, not for emergency services. Yes, yeah. and so. Can we? And the dealer's okay with us pulling that? 
Well, well supplement we, that we didn't <laughs> specifically ask, but I'm, I'm certain that they valued it at ten thousand dollars. As long as we make up the difference, yeah. we should be good. But can we, if we've advertised this enough? Mr. Gaskin. So all we did last year when we did the same thing is, and this doesn't affect us, all we got to do is next time just say we're going to reimburse the 10000 So you can do it at this point, yes. Again, if you look at these cars, they take these cars and trade them in as fast as they get them. They don't, they, no, nobody keeps these on a lot. It will be used, they'll, they'll, put, they'll go up in front of auction. So that's why we've never had a problem with trading the car, keeping the cars like we kept two last year. So we can't do that tonight for the 10000 but we can do what we can make this this trade part of it. The, the good news is, since this was published and sent to you, mm -hmm. we've actually gotten uh, uh, some better prices, and we do have a difference from what we actually ask not to exceed a certain amount in expenditure. We actually came in below that, so we have about $33,000 in wiggle room, oh, so we can absorb that $10,000, and we don't need an additional appropriation. Excellent. Um, Perfect. Well, that would be my, uh, let's see, did I make the motion? Yes, I Yes, yes, I did. did. Yes. Nothing needs to change. All right. Is there any other questions regarding the sheriff's vehicles? No, we're, we're just we're, voting on the 12, correct, at this we're time? We're voting on the 15 vehicles and equipment 12, 15, for 561000 okay. not to exceed 561700 Okay. And, and directing him to keep that vehicle. Correct. Okay. The 2012 Chevy Tahoe. Yes, sir. Along with the 2009 Chevy Tahoe. Yep. Okay. Is there any other questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Will that come from CCD? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Next item on the agenda is permission to spend Mr. Mina funds, the amount of uh, Mr. Mina fund 1175 for replacement of a truck for jail community work program. Motion Not to exceed $36,002. Motion approved. Second. Motion by Mr. Yagelski, seconded by Mr. Santana. Is there any questions? Nope. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Next item on agenda is Laporte County Superior 3 request an additional appropriation from River Boater Wind Tax for contract with Thomas right. regarding law books, um, amount of $2,000. Um, well, what would you do? Would you table this? I would. I would ask advice of the yeah. attorney on this one. If you guys are so, to. here's the conversation that I had with Judge Thorn. This money we cut two thousand dollars out of his budget last year. He has a contract with the books that he has to pay, and so he is short the two thousand dollars to pay his contract for this year, and that's why he's asking for the money to be put back in there. Uh, he did when he. At the council meeting last year, or budget hearings last year, he wasn't aware he, he yeah. okay. we took it. And then during, but go ahead. Sorry, Mark. Ask, come up so I can ask the person if we want. If we, if we approve tonight by voice vote that appropriation, can that next month can we reestablish it? We'd like to take it out of out of the um, adult probation. Adult probation. So can we uh, approve tonight? The approval and then get the money uh, voted for next month. It's just superior three. You're asking oh. him? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, no, I'm sorry, I'm wrong court. Never mind. Yeah, I was just confused. No, Judge, never mind. I apologize. And I got, yeah, you just I, been, I, I've been, I've been promoted. Been, just been promoted. Promoted. No, I got that. I like that. That's, that's, well, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm always willing to come I'm, I'm sitting here looking, going, <laughs> really? I'm, I'm guys stuff. over there going, really? really? You're going to ask, as Henry, they said, a second, this will be brief. Well, here, here would kind of be the condition. We did uh, talk with Steve Eirich from Adult Probation this morning during our budget hearing, and he said that there is funds available for this, and he wouldn't uh, have a problem paying it. Uh, it was a matter of if we can do it um, legally or what have you. And so at this point, that's why I was saying, do you think we should table it? 
pending, yeah. pending we'd have to finding out. Huh? We'd have to re-advertise. So we can do a motion of support just to say that we're going right. to pay the bill. We're just one way or the other. It's going to get. A actually, yeah. can we do it as a table. permission to spend? Not, not, yes, you can do it. We, you, can either, can, you can either table it and get it re-advertised, or as we just, it's a permission to spend. Permission to spend because those funds are there. Right. Make a motion to permission to spend. Can somebody else make a motion yet? No. 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 <laughs> then I will do that. So your motion, Mr. Rosenbaum, is permission to spend out of the probationary's adult probation adult probation fund the amount of two thousand dollars to cover the cost of these three. I four, appreciate you putting the words right. Thank you. Three, 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 four, four. Right. Okay. And I'll, I'll second that. Sure. All right. Are there any other questions? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor, for <laughs> yeah, helping out. in on that one. Yeah, yeah. Help me throw me out. Uh, LaPorte County EMS requesting additional appropriations from railroad wind tax for two maintenance contracts for physio control image and image trend in the amount of the two total thirty two thousand three hundred and seventy two dollars yeah, so both of these maintenance contracts are outside of our annual budget. Uh, we, uh, for the last several years, have been coming here asking for the additional appropriation for both of these. Physio control is our cardiac monitors. We do, they do cardiac monitoring and defibrillating. We have one in every EMS vehicle. And then image trend is our report writing software that we use after every EMS run to document what we did, what we saw. Uh, it's a legal document. And it's also used by our billing department for coding and billing. Motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum. And Second. Is there a preference on which? Win tax. Win tax, please. Okay. Seconded by Mr. Moldenauer. <laughs> is there any questions? I have one question. Yes. Uh, the monitor is. Do we get reimbursed for that? Because I know there was times in the past we, when we paid for this, that they, that we don't necessarily get the money back from billing. If we, because they, they'll, they'll do the same test when you go to the hospital. Oh no, we we do not get reimbursed for this for the maintenance on our monitors. No. Okay. We do not. And not that I've that I have never ever heard of that we did. Okay. If we did, it was before me. So. All right. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any other questions? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed. Thank you. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is Laporte County Circuit Court permission to spend probation user fee. Are you coming up for this one too? No, just kidding. You want me to? For conference sure. technology and circuit court rooms in the amount of twenty-seven thousand five hundred and ten dollars and fifty-five cents, and this is from probation user fees. And I believe uh, Mr. Irick was here earlier today and spoke on this. Motion approved. What's your preference? Second. Out of, out of um, that's fine. Yeah, the probation, probation users. users. Yeah. Motion by Mr. Ugalski, second by Mr. Rosenbaum. Are there any other questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Next item on the agenda is re, uh, Laporte County Commissioners requesting permission to spend from general fund 1000 for the EMS base hospital payment for RQAW for the Laporte County EMS relocation. Um, this is uh, for the engineering for relocating the new EMS base. It's the new EMS base that's being relocated Moving up, yeah. at the new hospital. Uh, and so this would come out of the payment that the county received from LaPorte Hospital. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Mr. Santana, second by Mr. Molnauer. Is there any other questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Next item on the agenda is LaPorte County Prosecutor requested permission to spend from Prosecutor Deferral, Diversion and Deferral Fund uh, for 2019 expenses in the amount of $38,888.50. Good evening. Thanks for coming back. 
You're welcome. I'm, I'm happy to be here. This, as you know, we have to pay. We we contribute to Doonbrook. Uh, we pay half of the the salary for the victim advocate, and as you know, that's the child advocacy center there, which is a very very integral part of our uh, to have forensic uh, interviews out there. So uh, for the victim advocate, and so money. This is money that was appropriated last year, but not spent. So it went into the unappropriated funds. So we got to bring it back into the fund to be able to pay these bills, and we've got to pay out our. Um, Ticket incentives, so we're kind of this is out of that 117,000 that's in the uh, uh, 130. I forget the 137. Right. Motion to approve. Yeah. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum. Second. Second by Mr. Molnar. Is there any other questions? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed. Thank you. Is there any council or attorney comments? Yes. I said I'd save mine for later. Okay. Um, I toured the county fairgrounds, I toured the JDC, I toured the county garage, and earlier today we toured several of us toured the county home. Um, I visited with building maintenance, planning, health, voter registration, Judge Al Alavisos, and several members of the juvenile court system, adult probation, IT, um, attended the redevelopment meeting, uh, the AIC conference, uh, a lot of great information. We are going to, the state has, uh, we were informed earlier uh, that the state is uh, going to be giving us $60,000 a year towards reimbursement for the costs for uh, Criminal Rule 26, and that's for two years. There's, um, and then also attended the uh, LaPorte County Fair on several, on several days, which was a great event, including the concert, which got a little rain short. Thank you. Mr. Santana? No, Anybody sir. Anybody no. else? No. Real quick, yeah, we took the tour of the county home and... I'm sorry, thank you. We took the tour of the county home and uh, I don't know how else, to how else to say this anymore. I don't know what else we can do with the commissioners. I, this property, as you know, is deteriorated. We have to get somewhere on this, so... I would hope that... Um, uh, that we that either we either we find a way through a measure or whatever it is to try to try to force the issue here. This this property is just this, this needs to be done and product needs to move forward. That's all. I agree. I just good. You all we done? I was gonna ask my last one last thing is where is the where where is the uh, the uh, price price the appraisals. for property appraisals that we've asked for six months ago. Joey, can maybe you ask Shaw? Sure. For on, on your angle, if you could do that, please. I just, um, one final comment regarding EMA vehicle. I'm, I'm not quite sure how, and this isn't to start any debate or anything, but I'm not sure how one month we approve a vehicle for that much and it comes in less than that because of a technicality that it, that it gets turned down. Uh, but it, it, it happens. So uh, with that, I would agree with uh, what Mr. Rosenbaum said about the fair. It's such a great um, thing out there and they did a fantastic job and thank God we just had a little bit of rain. That was it. So Absolutely. With that, motion to adjourn. Second. Favorite say aye. Aye. Means over. Thanks. Aye.